Welcome back, Odooers. Did you know that when lost leads are archived and removed from the CRM pipeline in Odoo, they can still be targeted with the email marketing application? It's true. Why would anyone want to do that, you ask? Well, it's all a part of a campaign strategy called lead reactivation. A lost lead reactivation email examines the leads that were marked as lost during a specific period of time. And with the help of custom filters and recorded lost reasons, these emails can target those once lost customers with a message. Want to see how it's all done? Of course you do. So let's jump into our database to see how easy it is to send lost lead reactivation emails with Odoo. Let's imagine we have some leftover merchandise taking up space in our warehouse. To help clear out that excess inventory, we want to reach out to some leads that were marked as lost in the past because we didn't have enough supply to fulfill their orders at the time. Well, they're in luck because they're about to get an email in their inbox from us telling them that we have products taking up space in our warehouse that we know they're interested in. So first things first, in the email marketing dashboard, all we have to do is click new in the upper left corner to start a new email. For the subject, let's go with something extremely simple yet direct, something like limited run merchandise is back in stock. Then in the recipients field, we're gonna select lead slash opportunity from the drop down menu because we'll be targeting lost leads. By default, this black list is not set is enabled since we don't want to target leads that are on our do not contact list. So we're going to go ahead and leave that as is. Now, if we click next to the filter, it'll expand on which we call the domain, which contains all the other targetable criteria we'll use to target our audience. We'll click that arrow so we can add more filtering criteria to target our audience. Now, before we add any more rules, we're going to hit this toggle switch here to include archived. Because when a lost lead is marked as lost in the CRM app, a record is archived. You'll notice I, when I did that, the number of records increased to include all those archived records. But we will go ahead and click a new rule now and target our audience criteria. In the first of these new fields, we'll go ahead and switch this to stage. And then we're going to put is not in. And we'll go ahead and put the fields as new, qualified, and one. This is because we only want to target leads that were lost in the proposition stage of our CRM pipeline. Those leads were essentially at the finish line of making a deal, but were marked as lost for one reason or another. Speaking of lost reason, that's going to be the next focus of this next rule because we don't want to just target every lead that was ever lost in that stage. We only want to reach out to the leads that were lost due to a lack of inventory. So we'll click on new rule once again, and we'll select lost reasons. And then we're going to put is in for the second field. And lastly, in the third field, we'll go ahead and put not enough stock. Awesome. Lastly, my boss just told me he's sick of paying for international shipping costs and that I should only target leads that we can ship to domestically. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and add another rule. And here we're going to put country for the first field. In the second field, we'll keep it as is in. And then we'll put United States for the third. You'll notice that after creating all these targeting rules, our number of record has been whittled down to a specific number of lost leads in our database that have the following criteria. They don't have a blacklisted email address. They were only in the proposition stage of the CRM pipeline. And they were marked as lost specifically because there was not enough stock. Oh, and also they reside in the United States. Perfect, I think my boss is really gonna like this. In fact, why don't I just save it for myself and my coworkers sometime in the future? And to do that, save this filter, all we have to do is click on this disk icon to the far right of the lead slash opportunity recipients field. And let's go ahead and title it lost US leads. And we'll put stock for a reminder here. And then click add. And boom, that's it. Now, whenever we need to send a similar lost leads reactivation email, we can use, just use this pre-configured filter to save us some time. With all those recipient filters in place, all we have to do now is create the body of an email using any of these templates in the mail body section. We'll also add a link to our online store in the email so the recipients can easily purchase those products that they finally wanted a while ago with just a few clicks. Then when we're done creating the body of the email, we can simply just 
click send to send it right away or schedule to schedule it for later. If these lost leads are still interested in our products, they can click the link in the email to make their purchase. And just like that, those lost leads have been reactivated and transformed into official customers, which we can all be viewed and accessed via the smart button metrics at the top of the form. And that's it, super simple, right? And there you have it, Odooers. That's how, you, how easy it is to create a lost leads reactivation email using the Odoo email marketing app. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.